quickly, let's welcome our next showcase presenter, Soul Slice. This is a first to market biscuit crust pizza parlor rooted in a B Corp structure. Let's hear more from Carter Luis. Welcome, Carter. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. My name is Carter Lewis. I am uh, the founder and CEO of Soul Slice. Soul Slice is basically a uh, pizza chain, a new pizza chain that serves soul food on pizza, on a biscuit crust. It pays homage to African American heritage. And um, I've wanted to do a soul food venture for a long time. I've done many ventures over the last 30 years. And so I would say this is sort of my um, legacy project. Uh, next slide, please. So as you can see, we have basically soul food on a biscuit crust. It's all of the soul food ingredients that you, you know, that you know and love, collard greens, um, yams, fried chicken, all that stuff. Next slide, please. So the pandemic uh, actually exposed the injustices in the restaurant industry. Um, I was devastated by what it did to the industry and really felt a call to do something and to sort of encapsulate all the things that I've learned over the last 35 years to do something um, to contribute positive um, business practices in the industry. Uh, that's things like fair pay, benefits, and equity, because I believe that we can do better. Next slide, please. So we, sold, we have launched Slow Slice as a B Corp, uh, and particularly we launched it as a B Corp to um, address three key elements that are important to our brand, which is opportunity, fair pay, and equity. Opportunity for our employees, not only to grow professionally, but also to grow personally. Um, it's pizza, all you need is gumption. You don't need uh, to be a Michelin chef to work at Soul Slice. Uh, fair pay, we pay all of our employees a salary, a full-time salary, a livable wage. Um, and in addition to that, we actually share the profits at the end of the year with all the employees as well. Lastly, uh, you do um, trek to uh, gain equity in the company. Long-term employees can actually participate in ownership in the company. So I felt like a B Corp uh, would really ensure equity for all the employees and, and really present a company able to do the things that we want to accomplish. Next slide, please. Um, I have done, as I said, many restaurants over the years and I've uh, literally consulted for countless others. Um, but one of my greatest strengths is actually building a strong team. And so to accomplish this um, project, I did just that. I've gathered strong personnel in terms of finance, marketing, culinary, and design. In addition, uh, we have an advisory board of uh, select professional um, people in many different industries, things like diversity, marketing, branding, even immigration. Um, all the things that we felt were key to help us grow fast. We understand that we are operating in a big market. Pizza is a $45 billion market. Gourmet pizza, the category that we fit into is an $8.2 billion uh, industry. And so we're very excited about the opportunity and really wanted to create um, a advisory board to help us get there. Next slide, please. So Sliceonomics, Sliceonomics is what we call what happens when you combine strong economics of one store, low cost, stable labor, high margins with a plan to grow fast. So our plan is to grow uh, 18 to 20 locations over the next five years. And our performa gives us a projected revenue of about 25 million. I will add um, that the uh, normal company pizza chain of our size 18 to 20 um the revenue is somewhere about 45 million is the average and so we have a goal of 25 million so we really think that it's um obtainable lastly we uh next slide please we have um really worked hard on this venture i'm very proud of what we're doing thus far we have gained some national press um we have are in the process and are continuing to grow our audience through digital media. The response has been phenomenal. We've done a deep dive on marketing. Uh, in addition, it's kind of weird. People send us photos of their version of biscuit crust. So that's kind of great to see that a kind of engagement happen. Uh, on Juneteenth, our grand opening will happen here. Our first location is in the Oakland Golden Gate neighborhood. And as I said, I'm very, very excited about this venture. We have a great team, great strategy, 
and I hope that you will join us in this venture. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carter. What an exemplary mission, Slicenomics, with the perfect opportunity and fair pay. Great. Kristen, would you like to start with feedback for Carter? Yeah, so thank you so much. First of all, uh, being an Oakland native, uh, invested in Oakland, thrilled to see you know more. And this, I didn't know about your company before this, so I'm really excited to be learning more. So this is a brand new dive for me. And uh, I love pizza of all sorts. This is a stretch. So I'm just wondering, is it, a, is it just for me or are there others and how will you bridge that market as far as really making sure that this is uh, you know, on, on their top list of what they want? Um, I don't, what do you mean if it's just for you? I don't understand the question. <laughs> oh, so it's a stretch for me to understand this type of pizza. And oh. so I'm yeah. wondering, maybe that's just me and just how, how will the marketing happening so people really understand that they're getting their soul food and pizza combined and that that's, that's a win. <laughs> um, well, actually we took our lead from, I took my lead from a, I wanted to, well, let me just go back. One of the things that was important to me as someone who grew up in the South, I grew up in Kentucky. Um, I love soul food. Um, when I go home or when I travel, I always seek out soul food places. As you know, soul food has a negative connotation of being unhealthy. Um, the large portions, poor quality food, all this stuff. And so I just wanted to change the narrative. So the soul food part is really the key part. Um, soul slice happened because I thought, wow, can I actually experience soul food and not eat all the calories. And that's how it came up with the idea of you're getting a slice of the, you know, we're not trying, I would say we are playing in the sphere of pizza, but soul slice is a lot more than pizza. We actually have a full menu. You can get all the ingredients that are on the pizza in a plate as opposed to on a biscuit crust. So um, it is a very um, unique uh, concept, I would say. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm really excited about this. Thank you. Thank Great. you. Yeah. Hey, Carter. Um, so when I received my Soul Slice beanie, I then immediately went and, and sort of stalked you online and looked at your menu. Um, and you know, I'm I'm both vegan and gluten free. So when I see other um, you know black food entrepreneurs going into soul uh, soul food, I'm always wondering, you know, is there any space there for me? And, and to your point, you know, there's a lot of things on your menu, and I think that that's great. I think that this is sort of your flagship product to put the, the pizza, if you will, on a biscuit, but then it's clear that there's other things that you all offer. Um, so with that, I guess one question that I have, and this is always, it's always a question for me around um, restaurants, is would you be able to then sort of continue to iterate on the menu that you have and have other um, specials or menu additions and things like that to sort of keep the, the interest and keep the, the diversity going with what you all offer? Yeah, thank you, Trevor. That's a great question. We actually have an, a great team. Um, I have a great team work with me, two other uh, professional cul culinary professionals working to develop the menu. Um, as I said, this is my eighth or ninth restaurant. Um, I'm very much of the school to really test it in the market with real people. You know, we've done a deep dive on the uh, menu. We've tested it. We've tasted. We've done this huge uh, marketing survey, like asking people, what do you think about when you hear biscuit crust? What do you think about what should be on a soul food pizza? What's your concept of food? So we've done the, the, the dirty work I say in terms of the marketing and now is the real test of the real customers who walk through the door. So the way that the company is set up, we are very analytical. Uh, we will look at what people like and what they don't like. And my team and myself, we will adjust and modify based on the people because I, I believe that restaurants, you know, you can have the idea, but my experience has been the, the customers will let you know what they want and what pieces they want. So um, what you saw online in terms of the meeting, uh, in terms of the menu is the broad, our broad spectrum of what we want um, that will certainly trim down, change, morph as we go, um, as we grow in this flag flagship location. Thank you, Carter. And thank you, Kristen and Trevor. And thank you to all our amazing entrepreneurs and their stupendous presentations. We're all so inspired by your vision and are totally rooting for your successes.